Welcome back. In this video, we're going to take a look at the email tool built in Brightspace. You can access this tool by clicking on the icon at the top of the page and then clicking on email. Although this tool looks very convenient, there is a problem replying to emails that are sent from Brightspace. In order to reply to an email that was sent from a Brightspace course, a teacher or a student needs to log into Brightspace before they can reply to the email. For this reason, I suggest that teachers use their school or board email addresses when communicating with students, and students use an email address that they check frequently, whether this is their school email address, which is preferable, or their personal email address. Depending on what school board you're from, there are two places that students can update their email address to ensure that they're getting emails from their teachers as quickly as possible. Students should click on their name or their icon at the top of the page, and then select Account Settings. Under the Account Settings tab, they can update their system email by clicking on Change Email. They'll have to enter in their system password, which is the password that they use to log into their Brightspace course. Then they can enter in their personal email address that they want all of their system emails sent to. Next, click on the Email tab at the top of the page, scroll down to the bottom, and under the Forwarding options, click on Forward Incoming Messages to an Alternate Email Account, and enter in the email account that they're going to check regularly. Then click Save and Close. Any email sent from Brightspace will be forwarded to the email address the student checks regularly. Unfortunately, not all school boards allow students to change these settings. To ensure your students are receiving your email notifications quickly, I first suggest that you use your school or board email address when communicating with students and not the Brightspace email tool. I also suggest that you compile a list of student email accounts that your students check regularly. Preferably, this would be their school email address. I also suggest that teachers encourage their students to use their school email address or personal email accounts when asking questions about their Brightspace course. To ensure that you can answer your students' questions without having to log into Brightspace, teachers should post their school or board email address on their Brightspace course homepage. 